welcome back to my channel so i am so excited to be doing this story time with you i just filmed a video on this look and it's probably already up by the time this video is up but i'm so excited um i wanted to pre-film so that i have enough videos for you guys all that youtuber stuff <laughs> so anyways i wanted to talk to you guys about my I don't want to call it fitness journey because I am very not fit yet. I don't, I'm not where I want to be, if that makes sense. Like, I want to, you know, be at a certain level before I start calling it my fitness journey. But um, I just wanted to sit back with you, have a chill video. I've been going to the gym for a long time, probably like three years. But the difference between about, I'll, going to the gym and now is that back then i was taking kickboxing i was taking jiu-jitsu um i just took like the basics of jiu-jitsu and the basics of kickboxing um i have problems with consistency like consistency is not my thing um i struggle with it like i'll go for like a week and then like stop you know or i'll go every other day or i wouldn't go to any of the classes so they would already learn something and then i would go back and i would totally miss everything that they learned and stuff so when i went i was completely lost like i didn't know what was going on and stuff so that led me to discouragement and then that led me not to want to go anymore because everybody was already so advanced and I was not so I stopped going to kickboxing and jiu-jitsu at the same time and I actually loved jiu-jitsu more than I did kickboxing uh kickboxing was just more of like mentally like you have to have like really fast reflexes you know but when it came to jiu-jitsu like it is still mental but it was just a lot more fun I got to use my strength a lot so yeah but anyways um I guess it's everybody anybody's opinion on that but anyways um um then i started like going to the gym so i started going to the gym with my best friend and we were going every single day at like four or five o'clock when she got off work and we would go straight to the gym this and this but i was very unexperienced like I didn't know how to do anything. I didn't know how to use the machines. I felt so bad. I felt like everybody was just staring at me like, who the fuck is this girl? Like, she's just here, you know? And she just doesn't know how to do it right. And all these guys were just staring at me like, she's stupid. Um, But yeah, but I still tried. Like, I would try to, like, my hubby would give me some workouts and stuff like that. So he helped me a lot. And, uh, but yeah, but when me and my best friend went, I was very inexperience i still have a lot to learn i'll tell you that a lot but i feel like i could actually get my way around things now but back then i was just like what does this machine do i have no idea how to even like work it or anything so me and her were going every single day but it was very inconsistent inconsistent because sometimes she would be like oh like I can't go today or whatever and then I wouldn't go because I didn't want to go by myself and I didn't want to like have to experience that shit by myself like everybody looking at me and stuff so yeah that's what happened with that so and overall like I just stopped going and we did get a gym membership for like a year so it ended in August so as soon as that gym membership ended in August I did not go anymore because i didn't i didn't have the gym membership and i didn't want to pay for another gym so then i started going to the park started running all that stuff running just i hate running so it didn't work out for me so yeah i just stopped with the running and then um so august september october and then all of that month i was not going to the gym so i gained weight like crazy um i gained 20 pounds more than I ever did like this is the most I've weighed my whole life my whole life I've only weighed like up to 120 now I weigh like 140 so I'm trying to get I'm trying to lose at least 10 pounds so um so yeah so I didn't want to just lose weight I wanted to you know get stronger get more fit not just to look good but to feel good um to live a longer life you know 
so whenever I was going to the gym around um, before August and stuff, I saw the gym like torture you guys. Like I would go to the gym and I would be like, holy shit, like this is going to be horrible. I'm going to be sore. I'm going to be in pain. I don't want to go anymore. I got to work in the morning and I'm a waitress. So I'm going to be carrying stuff. My arms are going to be sore. It's just going to be a horrible experience. My legs are going to be sore. I just don't want to go. This is torture. Like I was literally like thinking the most negative stuff that you could ever think about the gym. That's what I thought because I had a stupid immature mindset. That's what I'm going to say. So, uh, this whole gym stuff, everything that you want to do in life, it's literally all here. Like, it's all your mindset. For you to change as a person, you got to change your mindset. So, uh, I didn't see that back then. I was just like, torture, 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 pain, pain, pain. I don't do really good with pain. So, you know, I just didn't try, you know. So, um, I went one day, you know, three months later, here we are. Um, in November, November, I think it was November. Yeah, in the beginning of, no, like late October, like the last days of October, um, I went to go eat with my cousins, uh, L and L, <laughs> Laura and Lisa, and um, I went to go eat with them, and um, I talked to them about how I wanted to start going to the gym again, but if I did go to the gym, it wasn't going to be like, inconsistent i wasn't going to try to see this torture like i was actually gonna go all of it like i was gonna go big or go home kind of thing so um i, I was just talking to them i didn't expect anything from them and then um the next day my cousin laura which is the oldest from lisa she actually contacted me and was like hey i want to go to the gym like i've never been to the gym but i would love to go to the gym with you and i knew that i could really like count on her because she is very responsible and you know she's the one that could keep me going so i was like heck yeah let's go so we went to a different gym we didn't go to my gym we went to a different gym they were charging me double of what my gym would cost me so we just went to my old gym and they told us you know this and this, this is the pricings for the gym membership without contract so we were like perfect so we started going there in the beginning of november and so we just you know started going there and we have been very consistent we have not miss a day like when we do miss a day it's because something is important but we usually go about five times a week and if we don't go a day it'll be four times a week so it's still not bad if we do miss a day it is okay to miss a day you know if your body's asking for rest or all this stuff take a break like don't go don't push your body more than it needs to like yeah you need to push yourself but if your body is seriously in excruciating pain and you can't get up take a rest you know take a rest but if you're not going just because you're lazy you know like that's different like go to the gym but um yeah so we just we go every single day um my mindset i decided to change my mindset completely like i don't think of the gym as torture anymore i actually enjoy going to the gym um i enjoy everything about it like it's literally a stress relief like if i've had a really bad day at work i know that going to the gym will like literally take away everything because i am i stress a lot i don't even know why like my life is really not that hard but i'm just just how i am i stress a lot um and so yeah so uh when i go to the gym it's just like stress relief it makes me feel good about myself. I feel stronger every day. Like I still can't even do a pull up, but every day I'm getting better at it. You know, like last time I, I, I almost did one and I was like super excited and you don't even know how exciting it is until you've actually tried doing a push a pull up. So um, yeah, so we do HIIT, which is highly intensive interval uh training which is like you know you do 30 seconds of something and you 30 seconds off or how many times you want to do it and that burns fat really fast so we do that we work machines we do cardio we do booty and legs we do arms and abs like everything like you can think of like we're starting to do and i've seen major improvements of myself and it makes me so happy and it makes me a just think better about myself i wasn't comfortable in my own skin anymore i mean i 
I mean, hell, I'm weighing 20 pounds more than I did. I felt disgusting. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I felt nasty. I felt disgusting. Like, I was always tired. I don't even know why because I have a part-time job. So, like, I was... Oh, I was always tired like I would go to bed like right after work and would not want to get up of bed I didn't even want to cook for my husband I didn't want to clean I didn't want to do anything I wanted I felt so exhausted like literally exhausted like I couldn't even get up of bed I was like babe we're gonna go buy something because I can't get out of bed and it was because I just didn't feel the strength I felt dehydrated I felt depression I felt a lot of stuff so going to the gym have literally saved me and changing my mindset has saved me even more so um, I'm not saying like oh go to the gym this and this and this but you got to find something that makes you happy and change your mindset about it so um, so about videos and stuff like this like I know I'm very inconsistent um, and I want to try my best. I want to try, you know, to change my mindset when it comes to YouTube and stuff and try to upload. And if I can't upload a day, at least pre-film like I'm doing now. Like I just did a video in there and now I'm pre-filming this to have another video for you guys. Like I want to start doing that. So um, I'm changing my mindset, you know, when I can't when I can film, I'm going to film more than one video. And when I can edit, I'm going to edit all I can edit, you know. So, yeah. Um, I do want to show you what I'm taking as supplements. Um, I don't really take a lot of supplements. I only take pre-workout and this is the pre-workout that I've been taking now. Um, this is a uh, NeuroCore pre-workout, um, blah, 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 explosive energy and performance. It's the icy blue raspberry. Um, I've been having this for a while. I usually drink C4 and it comes with like a little scoop like this. It's like mine's gross because I'm almost done with it. Um, but I usually get the C4 and they didn't have the C4 so I got this one. This one's a little bit more pricey. It's like $25 where I got it. So I think I got this at Walgreens for $25. But yeah, so me and my best friend split with this but she's not coming with us anymore so... But anyways, yeah, so you just grab a scoop and you put it in your water bottle and then just like shake it up and then you drink it 30 minutes or 20 minutes before your workout and then you can have more energy or whatever. Um, that's that. And then like I do use my gloves for arm day and sometimes for booty day too because we're like lifting stuff, you know. So yeah, these are amazing. I got these at Marshall's in San Antonio when I went to San Antonio and... Yeah, these are amazing and they were on sale because I got them on Black Friday. <laughs> so yeah, these are amazing. Always make sure you take headphones. Uh, my sister's gonna kill me, but these are her headphones. Um, I don't have headphones yet. I ordered mine, so I'm using hers. <laughs> they are amazing. I asked for some for my birthday and they didn't Oh, Jesus Christ. That's what I get. I asked them for my birthday and nobody gave me any. Like, what the fuck? I'm going to be using these tomorrow. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, those are just the things that I take. I also take a, a jump rope and I do five minutes of cardio with that. So, five minutes when I'm about to do booty, leg, booty and leg day. I do five minutes on the jump rope. And you don't know how long five minutes is when you're jumping rope. Like... The whole time it burns like your legs it burns your calves like it's amazing try it guys that is it as of now we're still going to the gym except for weekends to we go five times a day going tomorrow tomorrow's leg and booty day if you want to see some footage on this uh let me know and yeah so that is my whole gym experience and all this if you liked little story times like this please let me know so i can make more i love making these they're just very chill and very amazing i get to talk to y'all about anything i really love these um what me and my best friend have actually uh, been thinking about now that i'm here i want to let you guys know we've been thinking about doing podcasts like I know this is weird because it's on YouTube, but like, I don't know, maybe we can do our makeup and then talk about whatever or just talk so that whenever y'all are doing your makeup or you're getting ready in the morning, you can just hear us, like set your phone down and just hear us talk 
and about anything y'all really want to hear us talk about and i think that's what me and my best friend want to do so anytime she does have a day off and i have a day off we're gonna get together do a podcast and y'all can just turn it on in the morning or when y'all are cleaning your house or whatever and then y'all can just listen to us i think that would be super super fun um she's the one that actually gave me the idea when we were doing the yoga challenge and i was like oh yeah like we need to do that like that would be really fun so um yeah so I really, really want to do that because I love to talk. She loves to talk. It'll be perfect. <laughs> so yeah, that is all that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And turn on the, the bell notifications so that y'all never miss any posts that I post. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye. See you on the next one.